things that easily entangle us. Someone like uh, Balaam. Balaam was a prophet. He was backslidden. Money was his goal. And so that's why he was, even the donkey, Ikam Wangelesha. Yani, imagine, I can imagine how the donkey was. The donkey was, oh, thou, I'm so holier than thou. Like, you know, Mangalea, thou backslided uh, prophet, I'm holier than thou. Kazi yako ni kutafuta madhau, lakini mini more than thous. So, ingekua tu na muambia hivo tu. I'm just thinking, like, and so, it's, it's a way, maybe it's a message tell us, the donkey can never save us. In hayezi kutukufia, iliona enjo ikahepa. So, the donkey can never save us. Maybe, inakubeba, lakini hayezi kusave. And maybe he, if he could have a dog, si tunapenda do, madogi sana, they could have not even saved us, because they are cousins with the wolves. Na baibu inasemanga zinaishingi uko nje, yeah? the wall. So uh, the moral of the story, the only thing that can save us is the lamb. The lamb on the throne, that's Jesus who can save us. Donkey, hayezi save. that is your labors, will never save us as human beings. And dogs, the source of insecurities we have, will never save us. So that's the moral of the story. So as human, or rather the young, uh, what I would want us to take home is that we ought to always look on Jesus Christ, who is the author and the finisher of our faith, so that we can be able to uh, have things that easily beset us with Naeza Thank you so much. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Uh, Naspan and the worship team. Naspan and the worship team as they make their way to the front. Maybe you could hear from you guys. Uh, what are some of the expectations you have from this service? Yeah. And I'm an MC, so I'll just speak at random. Oh, media, ni metoka kwa footage. Any expectation you have? What expectation kwa kiswaili ni? Mkalimani? Matarijio, matarajio. <laughs> Any expectation you may have? Kukua rich. Nice. Ukweli tu, kukua rich. Uh -huh. Any other expectation? Thank you. Uh, our lives are going to be transformed today when we understand matters regarding finances and we are going to rise to another level today. We are not going to remain in the same position. Wow, our lives are going to be transformed. Thank you. I want to know how to manage my finances in the kingdom way. Nice. Manage finances in the kingdom way. Um, VIP. Okay, yeah. See, I'm see VIP in the uh, Maybe learning more and getting to know more about finance. If I know it. So, thank you. Thank you, Humphrey. Uh, to learn more about finances, let's appreciate Humphrey. It's good to know all of you. So, all these expectations just to say we really want to tailor this program so that they can answer to our needs so at this point let's just be up on our feet as we welcome uh, the fort worship team um, I, I want us to agree on something that we are gathered in this place in the name of the Lord. Uh, when two people gather in the name of something, that thing becomes above them. I want us to agree that we are gathered in the name of the Lord and just wherever you are, you can just bow your head, close your eyes and just begin to raise a sound that is of prayer. Begin to tell him, Lord, we love you and this day we just gather in this place to lift your name we gather in this place to lift your name you are to be praised you are to be worshipped you are to be glorified there is none who is like you there is none beside you holy holy is you lord god almighty you reign and you reign in majesty just wherever you are if you we, we humbly request you to just open up your mouth and join us in the place of worship and begin to raise a sound that is of worship begin to raise a sound that is of worship begin to raise a sound that is of worship oh bless the lord oh my soul bless the lord oh my soul bless the lord oh my soul and everything that is within me just begin to open up your mouth and begin to raise a sound that is of worship 
begin to worship the Lord he is great there is none besides him there is none who is like 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 him he reigns and he reigns in majesty he who was is and is to come great and mighty great and mighty impressive he is impressive majesty great and impressive majesty great and impressive just begin to raise a sound that is of worship wherever you are begin to raise a sound that is of worship wherever you are just call on his name call up call upon his name just begin to call upon his name he is Yahweh he is Adonai he is Jireh he is Jehovah he has never lost in any battle he reigns and he reigns in majesty he who was is and is to come he is the same yesterday today and tomorrow he reigns and he reigns in majesty still you rule oh God still you reign still your king still your king still you reign still you rule and still your king father thank you for your presence in this place we thank you for your presence we thank you for your presence we thank you 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 and we honor 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 you you are to be praised you are to be glorified Glory fill this place. Just wanna be with you. I just wanna be with you.
them that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved and I want us to, re- to lift a sound and just lift his name Yahweh he who was is and is to come self-existing doesn't need any man to exist he doesn't need any man just want us to raise a sound and say we lift him Yahweh Yahweh
Just open up your mouth and begin to worship Him. We have, we worship. God is saying I am God and there is no other who is like me I am God and there is none besides me and my pleasures I do and I want us to understand something he's gonna do whatever he wants to do today and and I'd ask her I'd, I'd ask us to just humbly let us align ourselves to it one of my favorite pastor keeps telling me God is gonna do whatever he wants to do whether you believe it or not just where you are for the next two minutes just open up your mouth I humbly request you to join us open up your mouth and begin to just worship him and be expectant just begin to worship him and be expectant and he held and Peter held the hand of the man at the gate and the man looked at them and with expectation and with an expectation just open up your mouth and raise an expectation he says he is God and there is none besides him he is God and there is none besides him today I was telling a friend that God has a standard of doing this and things and it is exceedingly abundantly above he doesn't do anything else other, other than exceedingly abundantly and above just open up your mouth and raise a sound as you raise your expectation to God as you raise your expectation to God just open up your mouth and just join us and raise your expectation to God as you raise a sound of worship as you raise a sound of worship bam bam ba da dum 
bum bum ba da dum, bum bum ba da dum, bum bum ba da dum. Just raise your expectation in the next one more minute. In the next one more minute. things I'm picking up in the spirit <laughs> two things some people are hungry for God and then there is another group there's another group where they are expectant of what God can do there are people the people who need this song Lord, if I find favor in your sight. And there's another group 
I'm hearing this other song, there's another group. Cause there is nothing you cannot do. There is no mountain you cannot move. If you have said it, then you will do it. You have a track record of keeping your word. You're not about to Now wherever you are, just make a prayer. It is open. Wherever you are, just make a prayer in regards to that which you have fallen under. Just open up your mouth and just pray in regards to that which you have fallen under. You are good, you are kind, you are more than this. Lost of words, trying to describe you. Elohim, Adonai, Elisalawim. Your greatness is all I see. There is nothing you cannot. Father, Father, 
just one minute to lift up your hands and open up your mouth to God and tell him you are the king of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the I am that I am. We came to worship you because we know for sure you are God above all. Sataya Pala Sata. We worship you, Lord. We exalt you, King of Kings. You are the Lord. You are exalted. There is none like you. You are worthy of all the glory. You are worthy of all the honor. You are worthy of all the adoration. We lift your name on high. We exalt you, O God. Oh, Sataya Pala you are the sweet God. Oh, Salima Nataya, Palatadaba. This is holy ground. This is holy ground. This is holy ground. This is holy ground. Satanabadaba. Oh, Sadaba. Consuming, consuming fire. bless you this evening we thank you because this day lord you have never gathered your children in vain you always gather them for a reason you always gather them with a reason and this afternoon lord we know that you have gathered us with a reason and we believe the lord your purposes will be fulfilled in this service in the name of jesus Romans 12 and verse number 2 even as we invite our father Romans 12 and verse number 2 this is a beautiful day that the Lord has given unto us and I believe that we have come for a transformation praise the Lord the Bible says and do not be conformed to this world but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove that which is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The Bible says do not be conformed. Conformation is something that is reversible. But be it transformed, metamorphosed. Metamorphosis is a process that is irreversible. And whatever we are doing here today, we have come for a transformation that our minds will be renewed and we will be transformed and i believe this one thing that where you are right now after this service you will not be in the same place because the transformation process is not reversible you cannot go back to being a six months old you cannot go back to being a six year old and i believe it's the same thing even in this service the way you entered with the knowledge that you had when you came into this service i believe that even as you leave you will not live with the same knowledge you will live transformed you will live metamorphosed i have never seen a butterfly go back to being an egg or to being a lover but i believe that god has caused us to come into a place where we are becoming a beautiful thing we have come to a place where our metamorphosis is going to be fastened that you thought that you are just a young man you thought you're just another young lady i came to introduce you to another person one that is able to transform you one that is able to change your mind one that is able to catapult you to the place where you become a butterfly and the beauty of the Lord the favor of God the anointing of God is going to cause a transformation just lift up your hands to God in honest expectation in honest expectation Lord we desire open up your mouth and tell God I desire for a transformation in this service I don't want to have attended just 
cast another service. I came for a metamorphosis. I came for a transformation. I came for a change. I came for a permanent change. I came for a transformation. Asatapaya. I came for a transformation. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. I declare this evening, this afternoon is an afternoon of transformation. This is an afternoon like no other. You are transforming to a better version of yourself. You are transforming to a better version of who you are. You are transforming to a better version of who you have ever been. I declare this afternoon is an afternoon of transformation. It matters wealth. It matters finances. It matters life. I declare a transformation. Oh, consume me forever. Consume me Fortified amen. Bona asifiwe. Fifty percent. Bona asifiwe. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord and we are truly grateful that you made time to be here. And those that are joining us online, I thank God that this day we are going to be learning something that is very vital for us in the next phase. Hallelujah. Look at that millionaire standing next to you. Uh, uh, look at that. We have said we are transforming our minds. Look at that millionaire standing next to you. If that millionaire is seated and it is only hunger that is disturbing them, please just tell them, please stand. Wait. Uh, <laughs> tell that millionaire standing next to you, let us meet at the top where eagles don't collide. Uh, uh, that neighbor does not look as if they, they, they believe what you are telling them. Look for another neighbor and tell them, let us meet at the top. Where we will be having lunch. Where we will be having lunch out of the nation. And then we come to sleep. Uh, if that person does not believe, you need to shake them and tell them we need money. Our father said, that we will speak in tongues and speak in cash. And I believe that people that, are, that will be speaking in cash are seated here. Yeah. Praise the Lord. The next level requires management. Hallelujah. Amen. You have gotten to a place where you can earn. The next level requires management. And that is why we are here to be taught. Hallelujah. Proverbs 24 and verse number 2. And verse number 3, sorry. Proverbs 24 and verse number 3 is one of my favorite scriptures. It says, by wisdom a house is built.
by understanding it is established and by knowledge it is filled with good treasure you can have wisdom you can have knowledge you, you can have wisdom you can have uh, understanding but without knowledge treasure will never find itself along your way so knowledge is what we have come for praise the lord and an impartation praise the lord and now with the joy of the lord put your hands above your head as we celebrate and receive our father in the house no that is not how you celebrate my father put your hands above your head and celebrate our father in the house hallelujah praise the lord we can have our seats um this is supposed to be a wisdom sharing conversation proverbs chapter number proverbs 1 from verse 8 and 9 proverbs chapter number 1 verse 8 and 9 everybody read my son hear the instructions of your father and do not forsake the laws of your mother go to nine for they will be a graceful ornament on your head and chains about your neck walking is by common sense running is by principle but flight is by instruction a child will need to observe another child walk or oh, thank you for the online family fort is what mainstream church is called senior youth <laughs> I, I don't want to say the singles i don't know why it looks like if you're not married there is a group for you this is beyond marriage this is people that can handle some certain conversations and so walking is by common sense when a child is crawling and her senses or his senses are forming they will observe and realize everyone else is walking on their two knees on their two feet and that child will be challenged to walk by common sense and after time, the child will begin to walk on their two feet. And one of the things is that they all begin walking as if they are flying. Their hands are always up. But when we come to running, it's by principles. That's why there is a lane for every athlete. Great athletes have been disqualified because not of the inability of speed, but the inability to stick to their lanes one day Usain Bolt one of the best sprinters and he was asked the secret of his victory and he said that before I begin every race I always take around one minute in meditation and I always see myself winning before I win so he says he will first of all run the race in his head and then he will run the race on the terraces it is common wisdom that permit your mind to go where your body has never gone and one day your body will follow your mind i came to share wisdoms and in the language of wisdom they say the faintest ink is sharper than the sharpest memory. That meaning that if you're not writing, I pity you. These you cannot cram. The faintest ink is sharper than the sharpest memory. That's why God was not telling Moses he was a fool. God wrote the Ten Commandments. So if God can write, Who are you not to write? Are we together? So running is by principle. And I've shared that. Usain Bolt used to say that I will run the race in my mind before I run it on the terraces or on the field in the lane. 
Meaning that permit your mind to go where your body has never gone. That is what we call the power of imaginations. Your imagination is connected to the stuff you feed your mind. If all you do is listen to Gengeton, such shall be your imagination. And so the third level is that flight is a product of instructions. You have a teacher in primary school, a teacher in secondary school, a lecturer in the university, but those who teach flight are called instructors. Because flight is a product of instructions. You can reason principle, but you don't reason instructions. If today you are put on an aeroplane and you are told, fly, you won't tell the instructor, I don't like this red button. That could be the button that sets the engine on motion. So it's not about your preference. It's about obedience to instructions. So today, I came as a father and as an instructor in your coins and crowns. When I read the Bible, I discovered there was only two people who are considered rich. But there is only one referred in the Bible in the New Testament as a rich man. There was the rich man and Lazarus, but that riches was not connected to anything. But there was another one who was called the rich young ruler. It's only that he was possessed by the possession. Because some people are in offices that are bigger than their stature. The problem is not a V8 or a Lexus or a Lexus or a Futsubishi or a shoe barrow. Sometimes the problem is the capacity to manage it. That's why there are people who are driving cars that are bigger than them. A man said, in the realm of marketing, people will take a shoe and place it in a man who's popular and considered important and the shoe will gain value in the market. They are called influencers. So the man asked one of his sons, how much do you think are my shoes? And the son said, that must be 10,000. He said, no. He said, no. He said, okay, 20. He said, no. He said, these shoes, according to the manufacturer, is 1,500. But the value I carry, this shoe is too expensive. So I was trying to define, sometimes we are the ones who give value to staff. But it is not staff that give us value. That bed sitter is too expensive because you are there. <laughs> that bed sitter can house you. That one is expensive more than a mansion in Runda. So... What I'm here to share is instruction. So the, the Bible talks about a rich young ruler. So I discovered you can be rich and young. But don't allow, 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 allow. <laughs> don't allow the riches to rule you, but rule over the riches. The wisdom is you must grow your capacity to handle stuff. Otherwise, stuff will handle you. Is there, I think, in the book of Timothy. Before the scripture which says the love of man is the root of all evil, it also talks that how wealth has led many from the ways of God. The presence of it made many forget their vision. Now, in all my study, one thing that I came to discover, there is anointing in heaven. There is power in heaven. But one thing that I came to realize there is no money in heaven. Even Jesus needed financiers who supported his ministry. Jesus being God needed money. I know the Bible says silver and gold is mine. But Jesus being God needed money. Money is on earth. So that tells me there are wisdoms you need to attract money. 
Because it is a conversation of earth. And I'm going to share something I'm calling the six-figure capital. This one, everyone has them for free. And that tells me, no man under the sound of my voice is permitted to fail. Turn to that neighbor, tell that neighbor, neighbor, you will discover you have these six things so you cannot fail. Are we together? Yesterday, I was listening to a conversation around 20 minutes and this was a man who had done a research of 177 millionaires in dollars. He wanted to understand what are the habits of the rich. But he also went further and did a research among 128 poor people. It was a very balanced research. So he sat down and he studied the life of 177 millionaires, but also studied the life of 128 poor people. And he came with one conclusion, that wealth and riches and accumulation is not accidental. And poverty is also not coincidental. <laughs> so people can choose to walk out of poverty and people can choose to be rich. Now, the first thing which he also captured, and this is the first asset that you have in your life, is an asset called life. Breathe in, breathe out. Bus. You have the first capital that makes men successful. No matter the intensity of visions, if you are in ICU today, nothing will move. The fact that you came to church, it means your hands are working, your legs is working, your ears are working, your eyes, your kidney, your esophagus, your mitochondria. Hallelujah. Vinyl. Everything in your life is working. That is the first capital. That's why some rich men have swimming pool out of their houses, not as a sign of luxury, but a place to take care of their health. Swimming daily for one hour or 30 minutes is a whole body exercise. So some of them have no time to go to the gym. So what do they do? They bring a, they bring a, a swimming pool. When you go to Runda, you'll find people walking at five. Now you by default, you walk. <laughs> so you are perpetually exercising. And enjoy the walk. It's healthy, by the way. Walking is one of the systems that allows blood to move in your body. It's not a sign of poverty. Walking is one of the most powerful exercises. That's why when you find a man that walks for long distances, it's very hard for them to add weight. You burn a lot of fat. So number one, you have life, but life has three components. Life has the physical level, the, the emotional level, and the spiritual level. So your life has three components. You have the body. Take care of your body. You don't have another body. You don't have another body. No matter how gifted I am, if I was sick, I will not be here. True or false? During COVID, I saw many people. One of my relatives went for a kidney transplant. A serious businessman. And for almost two years, he could not do business. Not because he doesn't have the skills, but because his body could not permit him to do business. So take care of this body. Some of you, the body you have is not your body. Hallelujah. I don't want to look at anyone. Some of you, you are see him to 24 years. <laughs> Even the way you breathe, when there's a groomer any time. Tell your neighbor, rich men, take care of their body. And this is what they said. Many rich men don't eat in fast foods because they, they have managed to control the desire of the delicacy because of the impact and repercussion it has in their health. Many rich men, some of them even carry food from outside, from home. 
And they, some of them are very strict on their diet. So take care of your health. Take care of your health. Some of you, every day you eat a buffet. Every, even after here. Kuna street unanziyanga na kichwa, ulimi, motura, maindi chemsha, unamaliza na supu. Ata ukiumo na tumbo. Ulizo, what did you eat? You can't explain. A story is told of a Maasai went to a hotel and he was asked, kuna nini akasema kuna chai, kuna managu na kathalika. He said, let your kathalika. Some of you, that's what you eat. <laughs> the second thing, you must take care of your mental health. That's your emotional status. You can make all the money and still be suicidal. Do you know that? Have you not seen people driving or punching into an ocean? And we wonder, what was the problem with this person? You can be physically okay, but emotionally broken. And this is what they say. Many rich people have mastered to control their emotions. Many rich people have mastered to control their emotions. Anything that triggers your emotion, begin to master it early. And that's why many rich people don't struggle to answer and win in an argument. They answer with results. Anyone can argue. Someone said results are the best answers to your haters. Because you can argue with words, but you cannot argue with results. Are we together? So you must, you must know the battles to participate in and the battles to abandon. They help you in your emotional wellness. There is a time I took almost a whole day arguing with someone about tithing. By the time I was sleeping, I had a headache. And I said, I wish I was evangelizing. We are arguing about Bible. I say it never again. Will I find myself exchanging on matters I know that my convictions will not change? So guard your emotions. Are we together? In fact, um, one day I attempted to read a book called 48 Laws of Power. And as I was reading that book, they say one of the greatest, of course it's not, a, it's a, it's a book that teaches some form of control which may not be very good. But there is something I learned out of it. And they said, one, one of the secrets of successful leaders was to never show their emotional weakness and never allow anyone to manipulate their emotions. Because if pa a person can manipulate your emotion, they can manipulate you. So guard your emotions. Number three, life. The, that life you have is spiritual life. Life has physical, social and, I mean sp physical, uh, mental and spiritual. That's why we come to church, to take care of our spiritual life. No matter how rich you become, you still discover there is a void that only God can fill. No matter how popular you become, no matter how high you rise, and the higher you rise, the emptier you become. So you need to take care of that level. The second thing that everyone has, this is the second thing that everyone of you has, it's called time. Somebody say time. Somebody say time. I, I was looking at an Asian professor who wrote on something called the power of routine. Great men work under certain routines. You don't just wake up because the sun has risen. A routine simply means you can tell me this is what I do on Monday. This is what I do on Tuesday. This is what I do on Wednesday. This is what I do on Thursday. And your time is well distributed. Wewe, Friday, ulikuwa limuru. Sunday, uko nyahururu. Your life has no focus. <laughs> routine. Somebody say routine. And the routine is a product of planning. By now, you need to have a summary of next week. Beginning from tomorrow, 
And it is routine that will begin to reveal to you whether you are achieving your targets or you are playing with your life. Procrastination is a life without routine. Is the culture of postponing things that were meant to be done. I'm telling you the things you will do and money will follow you. <laughs> These are the secrets. Take care of your life, number one. Number two, manage your time. And one of the management of time is come up with a routine. That's why you need a diary. Diarize your meetings. Everyone has 24 hours. For those who are employed, they say whatever you do from 8 to 5 is what everybody else is doing. Whatever you do past 5, now that is your work. Yeah. If what you do past 5 is to go to TikTok, Facebook, check on latest gossips. I was looking at a routine of one man that I honor. And he told me he spends 15 minutes daily on social media to answer messages on WhatsApp, to check what's popping on Twitter, to check what's happening on Facebook. And that's it, daily. Studies reveal young people are spending between six to eight hours on social media. That tells you a third of your day is wasted on gossips. <laughs> uh, tell me if anyone has ever been updated for knowing what is has anyone ever been promoted for knowing what is trending that you sit on an interview table and they ask you today what is trending <laughs> and in fact I studied and realized many rich people they don't rely on social media they rely on real platforms that bear facts not Hey, they study, they read economic books. Have you realized anyone can talk on TikTok? Yes? What work on my ideologies? In your tonation on a top, when you know, I'm advice. Magunas get kumuliza. Where will she excuse your advice? Unga kuam bali because it looks like it's not working for them. Somebody said time. You know, if you spend eight hours on social media. And you die at 24. Let's assume you are born zero years and you began that culture. Or in the next 24 hours, if you spend eight hours daily, it means you will have spent eight years of your life. Kuskiza Moshene. Eight years of your precious life. Somebody say routine. Routine ni kweka mago na jiambia in your time ya kuangalia what's popping. Because again, isolation is dangerous. You need to understand where the globe is going. You need to know what's happening. But you cannot be in that space. One of the principles in media we used to say, them that make news don't watch them and them that watch them don't make them. It's a law in media. Them that make news don't watch them. Time is divided into three components. Time is divided into three components. Number one, time is divided into moments. Moments. Number two, time is divided into events. And number three, time is divided into opportunities. Number one, time is divided into moments. Number two, time is divided into events. And number three, time is divided into opportunities. Now, let me just take a good example. Eric, for how long have you played the saxophone? Seven years. Is Eric a professional on the saxophone? Yes. Was he born knowing how to play? No, you can't tell me. Alilia Capel saxophone. No. So what happened? He, number one, he had interest over the instrument, right? Number two, the first day he played, he never played accurate. So he needed to go through the basics of the lectures. And it took moments, moments of failure. Moments. Every failure became a learning. 
How did he know this is C, C sharp and this one is C flat? Someone must have told him, play C sharp. He played flat. He said, no, that is flat. Play sharp. So he realized, so this is flat. This is sharp. Sometimes failure is the school fees you pay for success or loss, for lack of a better word. If you never learn from your failures, then you have even failed in that failure. There are lessons that men learn through failure. Are we together? So don't look as, at failure as a verdict. Look at failure as a platform of learning. There is no great man that has never failed. And that is why there are people who failed and they lost the vibrancy of risk. Failure need to produce lessons. Some of you, it is a failed relationship that woke you up. And now, when anyone says, oh yeah, you are very alert. Were it not for that failed relationship, it will be, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so you learned your lessons, and now you are guarding your heart. Am I speaking to anyone? So time has moments. Moments pass very quickly. This is a moment. One hour I'll be out of here. You might go and take another moment, read a book, read a chapter, listen to a message, listen to conversations on economics. Those are moments. But remember, it is repeated moments that equip us and prepare us for an event. It is repeated moments of lessons in high school, repeated moments of lectures that prepare us for a one day exam. So men don't fail in events. Men fail in how they handle their moments. I will repeat. You can look at a form four and know if this one does not change, this is a D student. Not because you're a prophet of doom, but by how the person is handling their moments. Your day-to-day -day life, these are the moments. That's why we always say, crossing an ear does not make a change if you have not changed on some things you used to do last year. An ear is a shift of a 24 hour. We shout there, one, two, three, and then we release some lights and say, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. If you have not adjusted your mind and adjusted your behavior, behold, 2024 is a mirror of the other years. If a man does not change, the year will not change. No matter who prayed for you on that fast. No matter which oil was poured on your head on fast. No matter which gate you captured on 40 days of prayer. <laughs> I hold the gates of my destiny and nothing has changed about your life. Netflix, seven hours. Facebook, three hours. Nothing. By December, we will encourage you with a sermon called Finishing Well. And there is no finishing. And by 15 December, we'll have another sermon by Kanjagua called the God of the 11th hour. But even you, you don't have that hour. <laughs> Hallelujah. Please pay attention because it is what you do daily that prepares you for the thing you have been believing God for. Mastery is not made overnight. Mastery is a product of the same thing done for long. And they say it takes 7 to 10 years to be a master of something. 7 to 10. Many people are beginning businesses and after one year they close and they come and say, Pastor, there is warfare. There is no warfare. The point is you have not matured to the age of mastery. No business. In fact, I, I, I'm getting into a business and my, 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 my partner and my instructors told me it will take two years to break even. So I know for two years, I may not be in the profits I anticipate two years to break even. I already know. Because I have to do my research. 
spend my time on the moment. But many Kenyans always ask, after one year, wako katoloni. Heaven's gate. Father, na mungu anasema, you are still in a good class. Sa ino mengia grade one. Wea yako ni mbaka grade eight. And then after a few time, you stop it, and then you hear another one. He kona do, unaingia. After 10 years, you are not a master of anything, but you are a guru of everything. You know about potatoes. You know about ngoya mtumba. You know about, um, what else? Chicken farming. You know about cryptocurrency. Ato lifungua kasalo na kakuwa moka. Ato ukeenda Dubai ukarudi. There is nothing you have done, but there is nothing to show for. Na nyota yako ikosawa. Nyota yako ikosawa. Tell your neighbor nyota ikosawa. The only challenge is that no one took time to tell you some things take time. It takes 10 years to be a master of something. I began preaching in 2005. Immediately after Form 4. Some of you have known me in 2019. So it's not COVID that revealed us. We were preaching in high schools all those years. Sometimes off, sometimes right. But these were the moments to build muscles. And we are still learning. Are we together? So please, there is a book Pastor Jimmy gave me. It was called The Power of the One Thing. And, and, and this one I'll tell you, when it comes to moments, begin to build on one thing. We always call it the Java philosophy. When you go to Java, Java sells ugali and fish. But when I mention Java, what comes in your mind is coffee. So you must ask yourself, what is that one thing that I'm known for? One thing. Yes, you can come and do what we call diversity of investment. But it must stem up from one thing. The culture of Kenya is we consider you to be mighty by the many things you do. Sometimes I love how Kikuyu save people on their phones. Kamaua butchere. Kenodia wanduthi. It means we know you for. Some of you we can't even know how to save you. Unauza kidney ya watu. Wea kuna dealer wezi patikana. Saizi ukiulizo shambu na sikia ngoja ngoja. Kuna boy wangu. Hii job ya mashamba muifanya. You are all over. And you see. If I stand here and I tell you. You know I discovered it, it is. It is not wisdom. My name is Anthony Kahura Mwangi. I'm the, I'm the founder of Truth Mentorship Society. The resident pastor Life Church International. Limuru. Uh, I write books. I have companies. It looks like I'm going very far. That is the first step of failure. Because it means your energies are scattered. Your resources are scattered. And your effort is scattered. And you can be busy. And after five years, you lift up your head. Nothing has ever grown. I, I, I attempted to do that. Nikwa na tishu at Oisana High School. We founded a magazine called Hot Sauce. And then at that time I was doing my album in music. And so I had an album project and at the same time I decided to set up a car wash. Three businesses at one. Same here. Manager and director Hot Sauce Magazine. Founder of Clean It um, Car Wash. And also, uh, you know, the founder of Pastor T Music, T Sounds. Looks powerful. And I discovered I lost half a million, which I've never recovered. I invested 120,000 in the car wash. The car wash needed operation cost for six months for it to break even. I went and took a facility of 275,000 and we printed the magazine and I was paying a loan because the magazine never picked. It was the first in the market. And then later, I invested more than 65,000 in my album. 
When I looked at the money I spent, it was more than half a million. And I lost that money. I closed the car wash. I never removed my album because I did very shady videos. And we never continued producing the magazine. I was frustrated. I studied on generational patterns. I studied on witchcraft and poverty. I studied all those things. And I realized no one had bewitched me. I was not wise. So let's assume I took the half a million. De invested it in a car wash. Put all the money. And wait for the car wash to finish six months. And make sure that it is stable. Able to run itself. Able to pay the workers and the business is stable. Then that car wash would have helped me do my music. And maybe my music and the car wash would have helped me do the magazine. And how did I lose money in the car wash? Because I was not there. I didn't have any CCTV. So the guys will come and tell me, Leo Stima Ilipotea. I don't know whether Ilipotea Maikua. Wasema tumeosha garimoja inje nanimia. Because I realized for a car wash to make money, you need to be there. So I thought I'll put my money and money will work. I didn't understand the technicality of that business. It's just like a salon. You can't open a salon and you're working somewhere as a HR or a financier. People will open salons with your money. You have to sit there in the salon or a barber shop. Am I speaking to anyone? So some of you is not lack of ideas. Is the discipline to stick to one concept and grow it for seven to ten years? If you have nothing to live for, you have nothing to die for. So, moments somebody say, moments moments prepare you for events. Masimasika, before she did Muema, she had other two albums and she had given up on music. But she was going to the studio just singing for fun and then she'll go home. So one day she gets in this studio still alive, finds Mr. V there, and Mr. V tells me, I have this song. And she just does what she does best. Sings and goes home. Goes to Mokoma. Mokoma tells me, this is a good song. The guy shoots a video, one location, and the song becomes a national anthem. But behind Mercy, there were more than 30 songs her mother was a worshiper. She came from the lineage of sound. There were moments nobody knew. People see men emerge behind every man. When, when Amy Kosge did Taunet Nele, she had done four albums, all of them with videos, singing in Bishop Pius Moiro Crusade. No one knew her. But that never made her not to stop to build on her moments. Esther Wahome, by the time she did Kunadawa, she had done 10 albums. In fact, Kunadawa was an old Kikuyu song, Kwenadawa, that she redid in Swahili. 10 albums. And by the time that door opens, it's called an event. You have the power to handle it because you have been building capacity in your moments. There was a war going around of somebody, Joshua. What were boxing Muko? There was Joshua and some guy from that guy has a hard name from Cameroon. Day? Yeah? Danu. Yeah? That guy. <laughs> and I wanted to see the preparation of Joshua. Because before a man is celebrated in the ring, that man has taken a lot of time in the gym. Many of us want medals, but they don't want process. Hey. You know, sometimes you see me preaching for one hour. That one hour is almost 40 hours of study, prayer, and preparation. I have reached a place I cannot sleep for more than six hours. I always feel like I'm sinning. Because there's no time. My, I have trained my body to stay. Sleeping for six hours is enough. It's only on Monday when I oversleep. Because I discovered God was not a fool when he created Sabbath. So Monday is my Sabbath. 
but I have a boy who messes up with my Sabbath. So somebody say moments. Please ask that neighbor, what are you doing now with your life? Now. Just have a con. Mulize tu ninini sayu unafanya na maisha yako. Sayu mtu waka kuliza unataka how much. Ninini unafanya. What are you doing? What is that one thing? Are we together? That one thing that you can be known for. The world does not have scarcity of skills. It is scarcity of men that have mastered one skill. It was Bruce Lee who said, I'm not afraid of a man that can throw a hundred kicks at one time, but I'm afraid of a man who's, who has exercised one, one kick a hundred times. I'm not afraid of a man that can throw a hundred kicks at the same time. I'm just afraid of a man who has exercised how many kicks? One kick a hundred times. May you grow to be a brand. Work on your identity. That when we ask who are you, we have a name we can throw on your side. Kamawa keyboard. Omondi wa butchery. You know that we know you are known for one thing. And then it is moments and events that prepare a man for a season. Season. Seasons are the longest in life. A season carries what I call the principle of a rocket. Seasons carry what I call principle of a rocket. I saw there was a young man who, at the age I think of 26 or 27, opened in Kenya. Uh, he's always on TikTok, TikTok singing some Kikuyu songs as if he's running away. Have you ever seen him? Uh, and he's, yeah. Yes, I, 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 is Moragia? Yeah? yeah, I've seen that young man. And I wanted to study his story. And he said he has never taken alcohol. He has never gone to disco. He got married when he was very young. And what I was hearing is, when people were wasting their life, I was perfecting my skill. Today, less than 30 years, he's a millionaire. And what does he do? Making furniture, period. That's what he has perfected. And now, what happens is that, now I saw his video in Mombasa. Now, he has entered a level because Wakati rocket in a takeoff. A rocket needs a lot of energy for takeoff. There is a level when the rocket pierces. Is it beyond the ozone fear, ozone layer? Yeah? Is it the ozone layer? When it goes beyond the ozone layer, it now releases the final weight and it now suspends. No energy needed in that level. In this life, there is a level, even if you don't pray, money comes. There is a level, even when you backslide, money will still come because you broke a ceiling and now that level People are relaxing. Now the problem, we are admiring people that broke ceilings. Yet you, you have not even seen your ceiling. Ah, to do some more online. Oh, where you are paid, whoever, whoever employs you, they are paying you to make you forget your dream. Listen. <laughs> That's a man who has broken an ozone layer. Make your passion to become your vision. In that world, we can't survive on passion. You, your passion is to make pizza and you live in a ghetto. No clients. <laughs> My first business after Form 4, Niliambon use a was a general D. Kama uja use a vitu janza maisha. General D, eh? So we were trained. And you know how those guys used to come? You know, I used to work in the hospital making 30,000 shillings. Now every month they make 1.5 million. Hi. After from four, you hear such amounts. And then you are just told, you join. Then you recruit others to join. And then as they are making their money, you also make your money. And I'm like, ah, Ochamini prefect. <laughs> so the first thing in the one is Sabuni. Yo Sabuni, you know, 200 yakuoga. Yo Sabuni, you mean you Because everyone in my neighborhood 
Sabuni ni moja, ushindi. Inaosha vyombo, inaosha mwili na inaosha nguo. 3 in 1. Atunamwambia ni sabuni ya uso. Anashindwa what? Hii jaini haribikia. Hii ni nini iko nayo hizo 200? Ah. <laughs> Ibo ndio pesa zilienda. But I bless the Lord I never killed. Someone said, I met a young man who had lost his election. He said, the politician lost, but the leader has not lost. Say that's the attitude. And so, seasons, seasons, stay for long. But seasons are connected to how best you manage your, so your moments and your events. Let me come to Masimasika. After that song, Mwema, Safari Com called. Right now she's an ambassador with UNDP, I think. I tell you from almost 10 years, I'm a kulia song moja, almost 10 years. <laughs> season! Ha. But that season is connected to moments. A man can enter a season of scarcity because when men were working, they were twerking. Hmm. Life does not give you what you deserve. Life gives you what you demand. Life does not give you what you deserve. It's what you demand that life will give you. Are we together? And I tell you, the devil does not fight seasons. The devil fights moments. Unakumuko ukiwa high school. Ile time ya daro double physics. Ndo luko unalala. Mbaka unajigeuza kwa loka. Alafu na mka bado mwalimu wanafunza. Ha, umeboeka. Na vile tu mtihani likuja. Same attitude. Unangalia number one, haushiki. Number two, haushiki. Masema wacha nianze na section B. Section B sasa ndio haushiki. Then unangalia ule jamali kuanga na kaa mbele. Anaandika notes, maka anaandika hapo juu. Books to read. Examiki kikuja anavuta loka karibu. Ni vili anajaza. Why? As the man was investing in his moments, you were sleeping. Such is life. Time is the best rewarder. Right now, you might look like a fool. Umejufungia kwa nyumba ya 4,500. Because there is a vision to save, generate money, and begin a business. When your friends right now, wanaishi kwa three bedroom, na rumbili ya zina vitu. Moja ni ya viatu. 30,000. You might look like a fool. That you are budgeting with matatu and dudhi, where people are using Uber time is the best rewarder. Ten years later, they will still be on Uber as you'll be living in your own house, driving your own car. Because there are things that people master and they begin to move their seasons from where they are. Hallelujah. Ndiyo uneza kam jinga leo, but kam jinga. But one day you look back and say, I'm grateful. Nilingia itimi ya wamama. Nikiwa 25 years, watu watu wako 37, 40, na nikaanza kusave now. Kanunua plot kwa kichaka. Saizi na scale plot barabara imepita hapo. Ni 7 million, na lininunua 250. Na hiyo 250 nilikuwa natuma thou every week. I remember before I did my first song, Maisha Finje Finje, I had made a deal with a Kibanda man. Because I had two options. I called home. I told my mom. Kuna kampuni na tuamziki na wananilipisha 20,000. My mom asked me, utasoma ama utaimba? You know, the question is outright. <laughs> Ata ninge muambia ni taimba, ninge pigwa lecture, na singe pio pesa. Ninge muambia, mom, ni tasoma. So I knew mom, she can't give me money. So I went to the company, and they told me, raise 20,000, we'll pay 20,000. So I didn't know other way. So I had some kidogo money in help. I gave all my pocket money. So a man called Muliru in Chiromo was building Barabara Ilkwena Jengwa. So there was a Kibanda. And he told me, we are going to enter into a deal. If you bring me five people daily, I'll be giving you tea for free. If you bring me ten, you have Ugali, 
na ndengu ama maragwe ama nasukuma for free so i used to force guys to go and eat so that nilikuwa naingia naambia muliru one, two, three, four. chai imeja <laughs> and i won't lie to you for almost six to seven months i survived on one meal so that i can raise money to pay the video of the song finje finje and when the song came out it became the biggest song in fact the people released the song nilikuwa nimelipa 15000 nikakwama maka wale watu tu walikuwa ni moita kwa hiyo video shoot wakaanza ku enjoy waliza wewe kwani tu ulikuwa tuna series because i called guys in campus to come we do a video now it is four months the video is not out so the guys who did the video realize it's a good song and this guy cannot pay so they released the song without my permission so I was mina pigiwa nikiwa visiting my sister naambia tunakuona kwa tv na uliza nikifanya hii song finje finje naambia acheni uongo naambia iko kwa tv and those days we didn't have smartphones so now i had to wait for saturday to see whether the song will be played and that sacrifice paid listen sacrifices don't go in vain keep investing keep plowing you may not see the results now but a time is coming you realize you are interfering with a season are we together are we together yes let me go quickly i have a few minutes are you learning something number three the other thing that you need to know is you have a capital of purpose so number one you have life number two you have time what does time entail moments events opportunity eh? yes or seasons that's the best way to put it moment events and seasons and you can study that from your watch your watch has the second hand moments they pass very quickly your watch has your minute hand those are the events what moves the minute hand is the repeated moments they move the minute repeated events move the hour and that's how the cycle of life operates that's why one event is enough to launch you out the other thing you must be clear there must be clarity of purpose we can be desk mates but not purpose mates it's either purpose or pampas what were you designed for everyone was designed for something unique everyone here all of us cannot do the same things and when you find men that know their purpose it is easy for them to influence men that don't know their purpose uh, one, I, I found myself in the conversation of two business people one of them sells land the other one manufactures flour the one who was manufacturing flour is one of the biggest flour manufacturer in kenya and so i was in their midst i'd gone to see the one that manufactures flour for some wisdom on something and the one who sells land is the one who was introducing me to him and so as we're having that conversation the one who manufactures flour mentioned something he's a kenyan he said my profit per day per day is 30 million profit per day then the one who sells land as we're driving he said this year because i'm the chaplain of his organization he said this year we've done good business and we bless God, Pastor, because we've managed to break the two billion level. So the whole year, we've sold property worth two billion. And I was like, wow. And I realized the one that sells flour never got interested with selling land. And the one who sells land was like, wow. This guy is making money. But he never got interested in diverting his profits to sell flour because there was clarity of purpose when there is no clarity of purpose you'll be found in everything and that's why they say even in business let your business not to be for profits only let purpose inspire the principle and policy of your enterprise if profit is your motivation you'll sell drugs by the way, they are very profitable. Madawa za kulevia zina pesa. 
Someone called me and told me, Pastor, no, no, I'm going to project your church. I'm going to be a kabisa. I'm going to be a project fit. I'm going to wash a door. Come here. Come here. Come to Bonge. Hey. We should just go backslide one minute. And the person was not talking to Dogo money. I'm going to go to Kanisa. I'm going to say, my name is offering. I'm going to say, my name is Rambe. I'm going to go to account. I'm going to go to the account. Alafu ingine inabaki ni yako. I looked at the figures. I say zela barasko baya. He. Nika jambia this one. In less than five years, I'll be driving the best Mercedes in town. Nato nadharao wa shirika. I don't need your tithe. Kazi ya mungu ineza fanywa. And I realized, if purpose is not clear, shortcuts are automatic. Are we together? Profit is good, but purpose and process will align your life. So when I sat with these two men, I discovered they were very clear. So the, the first man who's my business mentor told me, my greatest joy is not even selling two billion. Is when I see a man who came to my office as a graduate, hopeless, not thinking anything will ever come out of life. And I see him building for his mother. I see him driving. I see him living a decent life. He told me that gives me much joy. And he tells me I'm doing the right business. And every year that meant of mine, every year he has to buy cars for his workers in Kenya. The last time I was there, he was giving his CEO a new V8 new model worth 20 million as a gift for accomplishing the targets of the year. And then after giving him, he looked at him and asked him, Unaskiaje? And that was his joy. Seeing people, I will not mention the name of the company. You follow my photos. You'll see where I go, where I dedicate lands. And and when I, the last time I was there, almost everyone was driving. And these are young people. And he said, this is my joy. Lifting this man, livelihood. That is the purpose of business. So he's not happy asking, how much do I have in the bank? He's happy seeing people who came desperate. In fact, he told me, he called one of the guys and told him, you know what? I believe in you. He wanted to fire him. Because he was not making any sales. And then he called him and asked him, I heard you say you love a certain Subaru. He said, yes. I said, by the way, I believe in you. And if you do one, two, three, this will be your car. And this is what the guy did. He looked at the CEO and said, no one has ever told me such a word. Coming from you, it means a lot. That year, he's the one who handled the biggest sales. Because, kuna watu, uwi, uchipanya kazi kwa kampuni, matusi, unatokanga ukiwa ume, tutasemaje, umegandamizwa moyo umeshushwa umezarauliwa thomas bona sifa sana roho ya zarao mateso kama farao Hi. somebody say purpose and that's why three things can help you know your purpose number 1 begin to look at your passions what are you passionate about what are you passionate about what are you passionate about? Number two, check on your skills or talents or abilities. Check on your skills, talents, and abilities. And number three, check on your giftings. Check on your giftings. The cocktail of the three can begin to show you where you are heading to. Number one, check on your Passions. What do you love? What can you do without being paid? Naspan bonus fuel. Where is Naspan? Yes. The, 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 there are times I used to find Naspan. I'm a beba guitar. Hana agenda. I'm a beba to guitar. And it's not any passion. Ha chesi. Ha endi event. A kolimuru tu inji anaivas na guitar. What's your passion? Yo guitar mako kingia kwa gari, unaitua kama mtoto, unaishukisha, unaishika, unaingia nayo. 
na hata unaweza lipia kiti that's passion <laughs> hallelujah that thing you can do without being paid that thing you can do whether it brings money or not it's in you my dad took away our radio when we were in form 2 and he said in this house no more rapping because he realized we were focusing more on music than books he came to my room and found i was i, I have been reading physics and it was page 45 3 weeks later so what we used to do to record nafungua vitabu tunaziaka hivi na ma notes so akiingia unaiona unasema ah hata ndo nimemaliza kusoma so he came and realized this guy has been on page 45 physics for the last three weeks so he said ile kitu naharibu hapa ni radio akachukua radio i won't lie to you that night without a radio me and my brother we made some instrumental na kijiko na meza doom cha doom cha alafu anambia buda flow boom cha doom doom cha boom cha teke 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 doom cha ah na tuka flow and we wrote songs because it's not a radio that gives us passion ikitu iko ndani locate your talent and locate what the skills and the abilities and also your giftings giftings are spiritual to some level number 3 number 4 number 4 i want to finish at exactly 5 number 4 grace locate your grace every assignment is backed up by grace one day we were with pastor ken patrick and he told me i want to accompany you this weekend i said cool so it was on thursday we left thursday went to nakuru no eldoret we left at around 10 11 We arrived in Eldoret at 3 na matatu. And then we preached the following day, Friday, and we left Friday at around 12 midnight. Arrived in Nairobi at around 5 in the morning. And I had a meeting a uh, mid morning. I went to Angaza, then I called him. I told him I'm, I'm, I have a meeting in Gedurai. When I called him, he picked his phone and said, "Buda, kila mtu afanye kazi na neema yake." nakakata and then i realized i have the grace to preach and traverse without getting tired the man tried to do what he could not do then one day i went to his shop I was just hanging around and a couple came and they needed a suit for their wedding and the man said we only have 15000 please and he said ah he can't fikish 25000 at wezi shona and he left them and he began to talk to other people and i'm like boss you are leaving money na akawa abandon baka sasa ndo anamfuata anamwambia basi kam kam 18 mwisho anambia by the ni 25 wacha naone huruma 22 na sishuki na akawaacha nikajiambia man the preacher in me even if you come and say pastor i only have 50 as a offering i'll tell you in the name of jesus so i realized i don't have the grace that the man has and that's why if some of us get into business we'll make losses because the grace god has given us is for the work we are supposed to do are we together and grace is specific to your lane that's why kuna mtu unaweza join muze kitu anauza wewe ufunge yeye akiexpand hata anunue stock yako That's why we we began by talking about what purpose clarity are we together remember the story of the, these two people waunga na wa mashamba even you you don't allow anyone by the way there is no business that doesn't have money akuna anyone that has reached the age of mastery yesterday I was talking to a friend of mine and he told me here in banana there is a guy saizi ana manufacture ile chumvi ya ngombe na akianza kuuza walikuwa wanabeba na bibi yake wanaibeba na kiondo wanapelekea watu in small samples now he is selling in east africa 10 years later it's called mastery wao shaijua chumvi ya ngombe inaweza kufanya kuwa bilionaire 
If you sit with that man and you don't know your purpose, atakwambia kijana achana na kila kitu, tengeneza chumvi ya ngombe, hapa ndio pesa iko. You go to another man, he will sit down. So so the, the, the business I want to do So I'm flying with my mentor from South Africa. You're taking me there for men conference. So we are we are together in the plane and he to- tells me now listen. Um how much do you have in the bank? I tell him I have this amount. And then he tells me, Nikon idea. We go we buy land, divide that land into plots, and then you sell, then you make your capital, then you begin the other business. I looked at him I said, "Hi." Then he told me, Awezi niambia church unaweza kosa vijana. Wanyotoambia uza hii property na nakupea hii cut. Make your money. I looked at him I felt I don't know why I don't have grace in that. I said I'm willing to buy that land as security in the bank. So he looked at me and he never spoke to me. I think he realized this guy knows what he wants to do. He can't be bought off to another idea he's sure then after a few hours he told me show me the business plan show me the profit margin show me why people are closing and others are advancing so i took the whole time and he looked at me and said ah looks like you're doing well guess what he told me and i knew he had money he could have helped me dile mwambia so he said the loan yanze kauliza how much have you saved say this amount he said i'll match your saving i dika jambia zinge mwambia do mop But I was genuine because rich men don't give you money they give you opportunities the day you meet a rich man simwambia mzee mimi nikapata one name one name mzee one name shida zangu zimeisha atakuangalia kwambie mungu atakuonekania na ni mtu kabisa ako na v8 pale ni uncle yako But the day he will see you have begun that man will tell you there is someone I know call this number and I will call him your expertise on how you handle that door will determine whether you'll do business that's why you must be a guru in what you're doing am I speaking to anyone somebody say grace please tell that neighbor neighbor we can be just mates but we are not grace mates number 5 The other thing that is there is opportunity. Opportunity. Opportunity appears as problems and it takes preparedness to see opportunity as a point of solving a problem. Opportunities appear as problems. They appear as problem. But it is only a prepared mind that can locate an opportunity. It's only a prepared mind that can locate an opportunity. Many opportunities appear as problems. Many of them appear as problems. There was an opportunity for a man to marry a king's daughter if he solved the problem of Goliath. That was the only way. Solve this problem, these are the things that will come your way. Many people have made business out of problems. Some of them are very simple. Where I was employed before I began pastoral work, we were bachelors. There was a lady who loved cooking. And that lady realized every time she goes to the microwave, the bachelors gather there. And she will share part of her meal with us and will enjoy. And she said, "Listen guys, instead of you eating my food, I love cooking." Why don't you be paying me 150 per day and I'll bring bring breakfast and bring lunch and bring something for four o'clock. It was a deal. You multiply that by 20 or 24. It's almost 4 to 5000. She was doing business in the office. A friend of mine told me alikuwa na juangua za camera gikomba. So what he used to do anapitia gikosh anachukua masuti za camera. Anazipeleka zina zinaoshwa alafu anapeleka dobi ya maana alafu inapigwa pasi ananunua shati ya duka na tai ya duka and then his manager realized whatever this man wears is not common and he asked him where do you get your suits akamuliza what is your size 
Because if I tell you my, if I tell you my source, you are a client immediately. He said, I'll be bringing for you. The man did not know a senior CEO alikuwa na vangu as a camera. Kwanza namwambia indo imetokea design mpya. And you know how people sell clothes wana kuchocha? Hii ni kama ni wewe ilishonewa. Na akamwambia usiambie watu wengi. Kustack you for nane na mtu. Opportunities are all over. Is someone getting me? Where you are, open your eyes. Tell your neighbor, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Some of your aunties keep on asking you, where do you get these things? Wewe na kutojua kwako. Anti wacha hata nikupatie namba ya mwenye ni supplier. Ah ah ah. Huyo ni client number one. Ndio unajua ni mdosi. Kitu unanunua Du Bois Road. Mnajua Du Bois Road? Tumeishi Nairobi. Earring ya Du Bois Road ya 150. Unamwambia hii ni 1500. Nalitoka Dubai. Na ujaibia mtu business is about negotiation. If you can sell this face towel at 2000 you have not robbed anyone. Have you ever realized the difference between what you buy downtown and Westlands is location? Okay. Go today to a good hotel. Fanta ni 250. Kwa kibanda ni 3570. 250 so downeza kunywa kibanda. Haija change taste. Ni kama unalipia ambience. Duni Kempinski. Tell your neighbor business is around you. Ni wewe tu nakutojua? Nakutojua opportunity. And let me give you a wisdom that I applied and this really helped me. When you realize opportunity, some of them are expensive. Some of them are expensive. In opportunity, apply the law of access. The law of access. That's why you need good relationships some of you with your parents. I sat down with a church member who told me he's looking for a name for a breed of goat he has pioneered. Hakuna kama hiyo dunia mzima. Kama anatafuta jina ya hizi mbuzi. Nafikiria tu ni Jacob alikuwa na system ya kuweka mbuzi zina meat kando ya maji zinatoa spotted. Bado ya anointing iko. A member here. Stay. Siku ile atapata jina nitamwambia niambie so that we can introduce a new species. Hey. Okay. <coughs> Some opportunities are expensive. What is the law of access? Some things you don't need to own them. But you can access them and do business. My first business I wanted to do in Ruaka. Ilikuwa kazi ya garbage collection. Ruaka was coming in. I lived there. I've lived all my life in Ruaka from 2010. And I realized the town was coming. And they were not, no one doing garbage collection. Beginning from my estate. We used to complain to the guy. Oh, kutakataka sichukuliwi. Haswa na kujeles kwa nataka. We realized this is a business. So we did a research. We discovered hakuna kazi raisi kama yo. You just need one old lorry. That part insurance. That's the only thing. Ina guruma na inatembea. Nothing else. And then you look for some people. Who can load and offload. So we reached a place we even spoke to agents. Because imagine we had done our calculation we were to make 180,000 every month na taka taka. The problem my partner came from a rich home. Na yeye ndo nilikuwa nategemea alete lori. So baba yake alikuwa anasema, sasa mimi nikienda mikutano za wazee, naulizwa what does your daughter do? Nasema ako na kampuni ya taka taka. Amuliza hakuna idea ingine unaweza fikiria. So But we had done everything, the proposal. We drew the concept, we met with owners and we pitch and they say this is a good idea. To a point mbaka nikaenda Kiambu dam site. Nika introduce you kwa leader na nikaambia alikuwa mungiki. Tukakaa kwa mawe tuka agree. Tukaambiwa lori ikifika pale ni yetu. It's not your people who offload. Na kwao vijana wa kulo tunakupea mmoja. 
Mimi ni kwa nimekaa na vijana wa mungiki. Because business will make you mutate. Everyone becomes your friend. Hata siku mwambia mimi ni pastor. Kwanza niambia kama wako kulia, kwambia mwakiwaka hora. You know. <laughs> because biashara lazima mfu. Ah. Akajua huyu tuko sawa. So we sat somewhere we did all the business. Guess what? The only problem is that we didn't have a lorry. And so I spoke to my father and he had an old pickup. And the problem was ile pesa tulikuwa tunatumia kwa mwisho hiyo pickup ilikuwa mingi kuliko capital enye tunahitaji. But I realized that was an opportunity. Guess what? The proposals we had raised with the different houses, someone took that idea, implemented it. Because we wanted to make sure garbage collection is done by decent people and clean. So that even if we come to you, there is money. Because the only thing you do, you collect on Tuesday and Friday. And if you get a hundred apartments, na kila mtu nalipa miambili per house for their garbage to be collected per month, it was a lot of money. And that's money we were making in the house. So there was a problem, we saw a need. Somebody say opportunity. And so I decided to use the law of access. So this time, I have this need and I have this dream. And I said, the day I will make it in business, I'll, I'll write a book on it. And I know I'll make it. So, my father is around 72 years old. And I see the old man down. I tell him, sir, I have this idea. And I want to do one, two, three. And my dad listens. And he realizes it's a good idea. I tell him, but I need money. I'm in a circle. In fact, all of you need to be in a circle. Banks won't help you. Right now, loans are at 16 to 18 percent. That's too much. Circles are 13 percent. Fixed. You can't go high. So I told him I'm in a circle. I've made this number of savings. And they give five times the amount. But now they need security. So my dad looks at me. And there is an old shamba which he bought in the 70s when they were relocated from some forest for my grandmother to live. So from 70s to 9, now, that shamba was evaluated almost 14 acres. They say this shamba is almost 14 million current value. Even my dad almost changed his mind. He realized I am rich. <laughs> so, because I've, I've honored that man, I've been a good son to him, he told me, at my age, I cannot farm. He took the title, told me, son, if this will help you, go and do business. So I didn't have my own land. I took that title, I prayed, and used it as security to get money as capital for business. Now, in my life, I don't know how much it would have taken even to raise 10 million. Now, I'm speaking to you. When you kuna 20 acres in Meguza Muto, na nimbuzi kondo upiga round yuko. Na hapa hivi uko hapo unolio mekono, my father, open a door in the city and all is a witch door. You are... Last month to akasirike leo. Is someone getting me? And so there is something called the law of access. Some of the shambas your parents have, it's idol. Your mom can be your first partner. Unamwambia we do greenhouse here. Wewe tu kwa unaniangalilia. Na siku ya kuvuna tunavuna pamoja. Tunarudisha pesa ya biashara na yako na kuachia za macho. She will be happy. It's only one day I did business with my father. We planted together. Tuka palilia pamoja. Tuka mwagilia maji pamoja. Tuka vuna pamoja. Akauza peke yake. <laughs> but I was very happy because, uh, you know, he's my father. We together. So I realized if we had worked on a good business plan, and he's my eye, even if, you know, they say, pesa ikiwibiwa na watu enyu imebaki kwenu. If my father eats from me, it's blessing. Other than a stranger eating on my sweat. So, there are, tell your neighbor, there are opportunities. There are opportunities. So, one of my relatives lives somewhere. He will place me fiti ya kweka kondo. 
So he came and told me, siku ya soko kondoa hapa zina uzango kaa kutupwa. Unanunua tudogo elfu mbili. Unatueka hapa tunazana. So I bought, moja nilinunua ilikuwa inaito Tyron, ingine Tiffany. <laughs> I hope what a someone. Later I was told, uto tukondo, tumezana, tumefika that. Tukondo. Kondo moja ni elfu ngapi? Saba. That times seven, you how much? Eh? Yeah? To ten. So not only school fees ya watoto. Tuili, tumezana zana. We imagine how many things pass you. Unapeleka ndume, did. Anakula elfu tatu. Iyo ni kondo muzimu. Na anakuacha. Ukiangalia kondo zimekuliwa nengi. Sayi ungekuwa mbali. Lakini na shukuru unasikia hii message leo. So that makoso uliofanya is rudiwe tena. And the final one is called networks. The final one is called networks. All I'm trying to say, if you are intentional, you will discover there are opportunities everywhere. And you'll discover if you're intentional, you can grow something, even with the little that you have. Somebody say network. Turn to that neighbor, ask them, what do you do in life? Molize to connect just for one minute. Just for one minute. My brother, you. Uh, what's your name? Davis. You work in a salon. Makeup artist. Uyo ni client. Izo ni dread. Eh? No make a client. No chukia na eh? Sasa chukua. Iyo ni client. I, I don't know if you are getting me. Yes? Everything. Have you realized that uyo mtu mongia na eh kuna tumna zafanya pamoja? Yes? Listen. Everything you need in life, 99% is not in heaven, is with men. Everything you need in life is not in heaven, is with men. And you need to audit your networks. In business, they say your network is your net worth. Your network is your net worth. I know people strategically who joined golf not because they love the game but because there are men you can't meet them in their offices because of protocol. But when they are with those shots, they are available. I was surprised one day I was preaching in Nanyuki and then a friend took me for lunch at the sportman's arms there. And I saw Mother Kome on the field playing golf. And I knew if I had my golf stick, we will have conversation and say hello. <laughs> and you don't talk about Mambo ya Kesi Yapo. Those are serious conversations. There are people hamtai patana kwa street. And let me share this. Clubs like Modaiga are now training for free. Every Saturday and every weekends, morning and evening, for free. You just need shorts, some rubbers, socks. Nika unenda pi. And you go there and they train you. Some of you join. Ni pure. Unabebanga attitude. Ju mukingia modaiga. Hakuna mtu wanajua ka umetoka Karen G. Wanajua anga hapa. Si watu hivivi uingia. Na unabeba business card. Just in case. Na niliambiwa vile mtu udil na business card. Because someone told me, when you are given a business card in a meeting, when you are given a business card in a meeting, don't put it in the pocket. Put it on the table in a meeting. And any time you are referring to that person, always refer to the business card. It means you have paid attention. When you are given a business card, atakama hausomi, jifanyo naangalia. 
Tu vois, on que... Tu fagnes. Non, aussi tout père qui en a. Il y a quelque wallet. Because there are people who will test you with how you handle the business card. On a pure business card. Eh, ato je yangali alafu na muliza. But then what did you say you are called and it is in the business card? Someone is a doctor na muita nani. So nani as I was saying, you begin to say daktari, bona daktari because it's in the business card. They are called etiquettes of dealing with greatness. <coughs> Protocols. You don't see a great man and take selfies. Now the first lady has come in life church and the next thing kila mtu ako to pick a picture. Sema forte. Hapo naweza watu na nyahunyo. Somebody say networks. And let me show you by demonstration. Let me have 10 people standing. Just come here. By demonstration. Or let me say this. Let me have 10 business people come here. 10 business. Make sure you have a business. Thank you. Eh? Sio and sio toka pronua enter pronua someone who is doing business thank you now let's begin from there what do you sell yeah Dre dealing with cleaning aha uh -huh. you software you beauty you wigs wigs was in ajono Okay, mejua leo. Amechoma wigs. You automobile. Eh? Uh -huh. Counseling psychology. Fashion. General. Eh? Uh -huh. Yes? Fresh flowers. Na tunateseka hapa. So nione baada hii mkutano. You ladies clothes. Eh? Uh -huh. Edwanda pole pole eh consultancy building wise building works bujuni keki i'm only change eh clothes wear auto spares yes events and dj so let's begin from here this guy does cleaning imagine all of you if you gave him business he will never run out of business is that true aya yeah. this guy is a software developer all of you need websites and all that you go to him this guy already has more than 10 businesses aya yeah. beautician maharusi ma birthday kutengenezwa ma photo all that the guy is here if all of us gave him business he will never close aya yeah. she sells wigs madam Imagine if all of us we just have that one week for bad hair day. You know that bad hair day. And she's able to sort us here. Um you said you Now I'm in kwa automobile. Huyu kwanza washikane na ulu wa spare parts. Washamalizana hata tu ambao hawa wote wanaendesha. This where we buy our spare parts. You said you deal with counseling psychology. She does a nyumbani depression nini mnakuja na mnamlipa professional counseling si kumuona ako na ofisi ni unamwambia i think ni kama i'm not very okay fashion yeah all your clothes you decide this is the place flowers valentines huyu angekuwa ameomoka or does the life church how is he handle you can imagine clothes again And now you have variety. If you don't like artist, you have this one. Consultancy ya kujenga. Kujenga. We kuja na tuko hapa tunatezeka. Ni sawa. Buju is here with all the cakes. Anyone who needs a cake, imagine all of us have birthdays, right? All of us. Tukiamua tu tutanunuanga keki kwa Buju. Uchali by next year nafaa kuwa na gari. Hata akikuja chacha na kuja amefurahi ju how ni fault anaona clients Hata akisikia umekuwa mgonjwa 
anakutumia kadi ya quick recovery why soko inaharibika and clothes again automobile all your events now this is how the Jews operate and that's why they are the richest globally they are, and they are the fewest they do business among themselves so come so what do you want ini pesa umeomba mungu amekupea pesa ndio hii sasa hizi tuseme kwa hizi ni zote ni nini ungetaka aya endo ununue nguo kwa mshirika aya huyo wa nguo ni nini ungetaka counseling aya enda kwa counseling aya huyo wa counseling ni nini ungetaka flowers huyo wa flowers ni nini ungetaka gari ehe huyo wa gari ni nini ungetaka aha usafi aya ehe mtu usafi ku market aenda kwa event now church are you seeing what i'm talking about yes jamaa wa event pepo imemuingia anataka kununua maua siku ya event ameenda wapi isili enda isili isili ni huku huku kwa kina eric enda isili enda isili eh aya peana pesa hapo kwa isili hapo kwa uja mamzito hapa aya ndoa watu wa isili isili ameenda isili ameenda parklands hiyo pesa imetoka kwa ufalme watu wa isili wakitaka kitu hawakujangi huku unatumango kwa duka ya ndugu so wacha pesa ianze kutembea isili hiyo wacha tu assume hiyo line ni isili aya huyo ndo shake <laughs> pesa imetembea isili wacha itembee pesa itembee isili sasa unaona hawa watu wetu wote wako prayers father bless me did god bless them did god bless them but what did they do they took the wealth of the just and they never did business among themselves and that's why the church we are the majority but the poorest because we never support our own though we have the networks and even you who is seated there i believe there are things you might want to do when i talk of network is our biggest advantage hallelujah and my prayer is now return the money in the kingdom it is coming back by fire now imagine all these men are doing business guess what they will do they will tithe when they tithe guess what will do sunday school will be built without kelele mingi kiwanja nanunuliwa bila kelele mi kelele mingi and the ministry continue and this is how god blesses the saints and this is what god expects that they begin to network and in these networks we begin to support one another and that's how we grow but this is the challenge of the church and we'll handle it in the next meeting integrity competence eh, professionalism that's the challenge of us that huyu anauza nguo anataka kukunyorosha her profit margins are exaggerated huyu anauza keki tukikompare na keki zingine tunasikia something is off that's why now everyone must work on their stuff so even as we bring you business you are not doing us a favor neither am i doing you a favor i'm paying for a service is someone getting me so who has my 1000 pe huyu wa maua ndo aniletee maua sande sasa unaona nimeanza biashara hiyo ni maua ngapi hmm wewe leta maua ya dhao <laughs> eh hey, hey, hapa naikuja kika smart na kutoka leo sasa ukuo naongea na mimi vizuri ndio tuonekana kila sande wa kazi ndaanza endelea otherwise may god bless you i love you so much guys i hope you have learned Um I've spent a few minutes just lift up your hands say Lord 
the wisdom I have received, I will apply it. Open my eyes to see opportunities. Give me the grace to maximize on my time. Give me the capacity to network beyond my levels. I declare in the name of Jesus, I will become wealthy. I will become rich. And none of these possessions will ever possess my life. Now let's go through the six figure number one. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number three. Number four. Number four. Number five. Number six. You have those things at your disposal. Use them. Money will be automatic. God bless you my fellow millionaires. See you at the top where egos don't collide. Wow. Hallelujah. Millionaires in the house. Let us put our hands together and appreciate our father. Hallelujah. Wow. I can see millionaires arising. Bwana sifiwe sana. Bwana sifiwe sana. And uh, we will not be talkapreneurs. We will be people that are doing the right thing too. So I just want to, uh, before I call the person that will be making the announcements, uh, I, I just came to take it over after our father and just say that we are waiting to see. Bwana sifiwe. Whatever we are learning, we are not learning so that we stay with it. We are learning so that it affects our lives. And uh, uh, Apostle Juma taught us something. Matthew 5.65. Matthew 5.65 says, Blessed is the pastor that does not finish his sermon because he will be invited again. Our father has just invited himself for next, uh, next month. So because he has already invited himself, we will be here. For season two of coins and crowns. Bona sifiwe sana. And I believe that it will be a blessing. Hallelujah. So the notes you have written are not for your book. They are for you. Hallelujah. So let us go and read again and again. Let us network. Let us know one another. Let us get to know what we all do and what we are capable of doing. And it will be a blessing. Also, in our different small groups, let us make sure that we are growing. Praise the Lord. Make sure that you're growing. Make sure that you're, 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 you're knowing one another and you're building towards something. Allow me to collect the offering so that I release it to someone that will be doing uh, the announcements. Uh, the, the, the first principle of money is giving. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The first principle of money is giving. So the giving details will be projected on the screens uh, for us to give our offering. This is a complete service and I believe that we will, we will continue growing and glowing in equal measure. Uh, those are, that is our giving details, 325959 for those that are here. For those that are online, 0726714713, it will bring Anthony Kahora Mwangi who is our father, and I know that it will be a blessing. It will be a great blessing. So from us, from me, from uh, our father to our penda, you guys are amazing. You guys are good. I think uh, one thing that I realized from morning to now is that we have a lot of skill that is seated here. Bwana sifiwe. Bwana sifiwe. Munona, watu kama kapedo, awaku tokea. Watu wa weddings, Hallelujah. Uh, people that are here are so skilled and the skill that you have should be able to benefit all of us that are here. Bona We have been taught about uh, uh, one, one thing that is very important and it is connections. Uh, people that you know. Access. If you have access to something. Uh, Buju will be doing a wedding here. He has uh, access to this tent. He has access to some of the things that we have. Kwa hivyo ukisema ulifanya ile kitu ya kufanya nini kwa sababu hakuna nini tutakutana nyume attend. Bwana asifiwe sana. So allow me to welcome the person that will be doing the announcements, Murikwa. Uh, let us put our hands together for Murikwa as she comes to give the announcements. 
I know I will not get back here. So, uh, so team, so team, make sure we meet on the 30th for, for breakfast. Najo iko part of the announcements, but uh, make sure we meet for breakfast. Ukikosa kukuja breakfast, ujo tapunguza miaka yako, urudi below 30. God bless you. Na hapenda buri. Let's clap for Percy, our father. We love him. Thank you so much for your wisdom. Uh, my name is Muri Kwangendo from the communications team. Before I even start, say hi to your neighbor. Ask them which team are they representing. Kama ajajibu hana team. All right. If, they, if you don't have a team, please uh, see me after the service. All right. Sawa, so, sawa. So. Uh, who's new for, who has come here for the first time? For the, this is your first fourth service. It's our first fourth service this year. Oh, karibu sana. Oh, karibu sana. Ah, karibu sana. Please see me after the service and anyone else who has not, who has not been assigned to any team. Um... Our next fortified service. I know today's uh, today's theme was white on denim, and you look beautiful. Tell your neighbor they look beautiful. Yeah, they look beautiful. <laughs> Our next fortified service will be in April twenty-first. In April twenty-first, please suggest the themes on your groups. I know you communicate there. Please communicate the themes that you want in your groups. Uh, for the team, we have four pillars, as you all know, mentorship, community, empowerment, yes, mentorship. Who have watched the photo on air? It went live. How many of you have watched the photo on air? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Thank you for so much for your support, guys. Please go to the social medias, follow it. It's also on YouTube. So please go there and uh, watch it if you didn't watch it. The next one will be on 30th uh, of this month. It will always, it will always be by by monthly so every two months we'll be having the photon service for those who don't know photon air what it happens is we have discussions and this one was so powerful it was about the principles of relationships so for those who did not watch our father pastor Kanja, uh, pastor kanjago was there and he also taught us a few things so for relationships which is very important and very key to us at this season please go watch follow like, subscribe, share the wisdoms that are there. Sawa, sawa. Uh, the community pillar has been kicking off. Havila and royal crowns. Let me see. Havila. Yay, amen. Royal crowns. Ah, yay. Uh, green hats, I love you. Green hats. Yay. <laughs> uh, that's good. Uh, Havila and uh, royal crowns had a charity event. They went to, they went to Joy's children's home. Alpha Joy Children's Home. Thank you so much for being a blessing to those uh, children. Uh, team Eagles and Team Circle in the house. They've left. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, you are very impressive. Eh? You went to the impressive gardens. You were very, we, we, we saw the pictures. So please plug in. I know um, this, is it this Good Friday? It's this Good Friday, right? Team Blossom and Team and Team All-Stars, yes. Team Blossom and Team All-Stars will be having a hangout as well. So please watch out for that, even for your team members. Anyone who's not had a hangout, please. Uh, we are looking forward to the pictures and for the ideas for our next ones. Um, anything else? A anyone who's going to town, please be a show of hands. Let me see, because we want to organize the logistics from here. Uh, going towards town, Nairobi, CBD, not Limuru town. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I, I think uh, you've seen. Okay. Okay. All right. Sawa, sawa. Um, I want to thank you all for coming for this fortified service. It's a pleasure to have you all around. Thank you for serving God with your time and for your small groups. May God bless you. May God be with you. Till next time. A warm round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Our media team, are we off? Tungependa kuongea internal matters.